Hi, welcome in. Uh, I go by Fox, and today we're doing something a little bit different to my usual VOD edits, and that is we're going to be trying out the Trash Goblin demo. I want to put in a full disclaimer that this is not sponsored, neither it is an advert. Uh, I will say I did get reached out to buy one of the developers to check out the demo for this game. However, I have been following this game on social media for a little bit since I think it got announced back in September. So it's more of a, I wanna check this out and I wanna share it with you in case you haven't heard of this game. Trash Goblin is a wholesome and cozy Etsy based goblin game where you uncover and find trinkets and you clean them and then you sort them out and then you sell them to people or goblins or as the steam website says quirky customers the release date for this game is somewhere in 2024 however they do have a kickstarter live now all the links will be down below if you're interested and i'll go over a little bit extra of the links and show off a few of the websites at the end of the video so i hope you enjoy all right let's start a new game Welcome to Trash Goblin. In this cozy shopkeeping game, you're a little goblin with big dreams. In the employ of Amon, the kindly antique dealer who works upstairs, your goal is to sell trinkets and save up enough money to start your very own archaeology business. Sacks of goblin knows what are delivered to your shop every day. So chip the dirt away to find whatever is hiding underneath. Sell them as is or spend some time cleaning them to hawk them for a higher price. Once you bought a sponge, of course. We get sponges? I'm so excited to see what kind of cleaning utensils we get. <laughs> Manage your time to make the most of every day or just enjoy the pottering in your cozy little space. It's up to you. Starting work. Drag the sack onto the mat with left click to get ready for work. Equip the chisel with left click and then use it on the sack to begin. Chip. Stop it. Sorry, my cats are out. You can put the tools down with right mouse. Chip away craft to reveal trinkets. Chipping away with left mouse will gradually reveal the trinket hiding underneath. If you chip any parts containing the trinket, they're marked automatically. Rotate the whole lump by dragging with right click and reset the view with the button in the top left corner of the screen. And it's in the shape of a bottle because it was long and it's a bottle. Congratulations, you got your first trinket. Store it in your stash by dragging it over and dropping it in. You can left click on the stash to open it. Check your lovely hoard and drag stuff back out. There's a stash book on your workbench and customer desk. Ah, you just, I love the scenery. Like, look at this. It's like you're in inside, it's first person. You know when you play those games? The, uh, what are they called? Shop games. And it's all kind of third person view or bird's eye view. I like the fact that it's first person for this. Like you are the goblin. And there's a bed. You can sleep. <laughs> you sleep in your workspace. Right, customers, yes. We've got this lovely lizard being. Good day to you. I've heard tell you're the goblin to come to when in search of certain res items. Uh, you've come to the right goblin. I am in fact looking for a hairpin. I've had no luck for months now. And I'm at my wit's end. I do hope your <coughs> I do hope your reputation is deserved. No, no pressure, no pressure. Oh, I'm after Eddie hairpin. Okay. Well, we don't really have a hairpin, but let's uh, let's have a look if we can dig one out for you, good sir. That's pretty. That is really pretty. You've used up all your time today. Each time you uncovered a trinket, you used up one time slot tracked in the UI on the left side. You can still buy and sell what you have found. Talk to NPCs and explore your workshop. And then I guess we go around to you. Oh my, however did you know? This is exactly what I was after. I'm just that good. Deal. Deal. Wait, it's uh, what I'm talking about. Oh, and it's gone. Nice, your first sale. Drag the pouch of gold into your stash to claim it and have a think about what you might want to buy. All right, okay. Let's go to the exclamation point and go here. Hello? Hey, a goblin? <gasps> boss man. Oh, I told you before, I don't like it when you call me boss. This is a partnership. This boss of yours has a lovely old sponge if you're after. Yes, I'd love a sponge, boss. <laughs> I'll be a hundred if my maths is right. I don't, I don't have that much. We, we have none. <laughs> so, um, did a little bit of a mistake. I couldn't, turns out I did have a hundred coins. I just, um, 
forgot to put them into my book. So let's talk to your boss again and... <laughs> How much you gotta spend to earn? That's what they say. Let's go for it. Here you go. You'll make better use of it than me. Don't forget I'm taking the wagon on the trip for a couple of days. So take care of the shop while I'm away. Can't wait to use it. Have fun. Look at this lovely little... It looks like a potato. A sponge? You'll be able to clean trinkets... Trinkets up and sell them for even more gold. You've done everything you can for today. Goblins don't do crunch. So navigate to your personal space and click on the bed to wrap things up. Let's do it. Night falls. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. And it shows you your sales, your purchases, your what you unlocked, and what you've discovered. That's very nice. I like that screen. Very easy to read. This may be less so, but again, it's just a demo. What have we got today? Let's do a little crunch. What have we say crunch? Goblins don't crunch, but I crunch. Oh, new blocks as well. We've got some blue blocks here. Oh, they're all... Okay, so you click on that and it just has a little domino effect. A horn! Place a dirty trinket onto the mat, then with the sponge equipped. Click on the trinket to begin cleaning. Scrub by clicking and dragging your left mouse and keep it up until the dirt is gone. Do a little rubber rub. Oh, this is cute. And you can visibly see as well as the bar here tells you how clean it is. We've got to get 100%. Oh, it's nearly that. Oh, hey, there you go. It's clean. And then we're going to put it in here. I wonder if we can take this out. And then can we clean? <gasps> oh. Okay, so this also takes up part of your day. So you have to be smart and diligent on how much time you spend doing what. Because you don't have unlimited time or unlimited energy. Which is very true of real life as well. This is very therapeutic, actually. There we go. And it's a nice clean bottle. And then if you... Oh, clean craft. Oh, it's gone. And we got some dirt. I wonder what that's for. Oh, hello. Oh, well, I never. A new shop that I've never visited ever before. What fun. And hello, strange goblin who I've never met. Um, the fake dash must tickle. Haha, <laughs> yes. Well, now I'm looking for a grandma's egg. Is that something you might have per chance? A nice clean grandma's egg. Let's go. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ooh. Uh huh. Can I. Let me in! Grandma, let me have your egg. Oh. <laughs> I think I needed to press the. Uh little round things but it's fine oh that looks nasty this does not look like a grandma's egg it looks like a head we're just cleaning a head look at this oh that's upside down fantastic maybe it is an egg it has egg shape but it has a face so i'm not quite certain done continue can i can i put down thank you oh one second i forgot to put that into my trinket book there you go Hello, a uh, person I've never met. I have... Is this is this the egg you want? Oh my, what are the chances? This is exactly what I was after. A coincidence, I'm sure. Deal, yeah. This is perfect, right. That's, yeah, okay. And then we take this and we put this in here. There you go, and I've got monies. And that is where I'm going to leave my playthrough of the Trash Goblin demo. So, not to spoil anything if you want to check it out for yourself. But, before we wrap up this video, here's a little outro. And that was Trash Goblin demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how they clean it up. How they clean the trash up. How they clean up <laughs> and seeing what else they add into it and what else they have in store. There is a little note here where it says we're super happy. We think this is 90% finished. So good news. Uh, I did say at the very beginning that this is meant to be out in the 2024 release. We tweaked this a lot recently after feedback from EGX. Uh, it is being cleaned up. It is maybe 50% complete the cleaning selling it's missing haggling trinkets and customer attributes and other bits we've got planned too and beyond that we've got plans for taking your shop across the city as a pop-up and tons more suffice to say this demo is a result of a lot of love and hard work by a small team which is very visible i could tell there's a lot this is definitely a, a, an absolute love project like it's so much going into it from the art style to the ideas very unique in terms of the point of view at which you see from the shop like you are the goblin and you're creating 
and clean well not you're not creating you're cleaning the trinkets and you're selling them off so i'm excited to see what else they'll add to it but yes you can follow this on steam you can wish this is on steam they also have a twitter there's an official site this game was shown at the wholesome snack direct with a bunch of other wonderful games there is a kickstarter that if you're able to contribute to it i think you should if you're not able to contribute the kickstarter make sure you share it across any discords you're in and we'll see where the game takes us again thank you so much to spilt Mug studios for keeping me up to date with the game and letting me know the demo is out and for now thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this i will see you later bye